Hello my beautiful people. So, Natasha Danana just came out with the new Give Me Rose lipstick, lip liner and lip gloss collection. So in this collection you have three lipsticks with matching lip liners and glosses. You can buy it all as one big bundle. You can buy, obviously you can buy things individually as well but you save some money if you buy collections so you can get just three lipsticks on their own three lip liners or three glosses or you can get lipsticks in glosses and lip liners so what i got i got all three lipsticks with the matching lip liners but just one gloss and the gloss is nice and creamy so it's it doesn't have any any sparkle in it um it's very nice but i thought i choose just the lightest one so i can use it with all sorts of other lipsticks now as you can probably see in a title i am disappointed let me preface this uh, you know how much I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I actually have one of her lipsticks from the Give Me Nude collection in Amarosa and I really, really like it. So I have no problem with the formula, with the packaging, with the lipsticks. I am very disappointed in the colors. I basically have three lipsticks that I probably will never wear. Maybe one. And I explain to you why. So every color has sort of a code. So for example, peony is 20P, which means it's pink. Uh, Kala or Kaya, I don't know if this is in Spanish, is 12.5 NB, which is nude beige. And then Daphne is 20.5P as well, so it's pink. So I was led by this description. Also, when you look at the videos on the website, when she applies the lipsticks and pictures, what you see on a screen in studio lights, professional production might not be exactly what it looks like in real life. I feel like the description of colors are not right at all. So even with the Amarosa, the description, so this is nude pink and the description is medium warm mauve with neutral pink undertones. It's quite confusing anyway. If it's warm but has neutral undertones, you don't really know what it is. To me, this lipstick is very cool. Yes, it is, I would say it's a, I don't see any warmth in it. And when I apply it on my lips, it looks quite cool. So let's go with the lipsticks that I bought. I will put them on. I would never normally choose peachy colors with any yellowness in it, with too much warmth, because I don't have the nicest teeth and they make, you, make your teeth look even more yellow. And also I don't feel it suits my overall tone. So let's start with the lightest, which is peony and i had to have it because you know i love peony there is the lip liner they are really lovely they apply beautifully um, they have quite a good staying power so i have no problem with that this is a very light color And peony is described as pink, just pink, doesn't say warm, cold. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous, magnetic. So this is peony. You see, when I look in a monitor, that's another thing that every monitor translates colors differently. I sort of can see some pink in it, Now, to me, this is not pink. To me, this is peach color, unless this is 
some sort of pink that has very warm undertones but that wasn't in a description it just says pink so I would have expected it to be real pink so I probably would describe this color as peachy pink with warm undertones and if I had that description I definitely wouldn't buy it as I have this on let's put the peony lip gloss the lip gloss looks pink like a neutral pink I can't decide what this smells of It's not a very sweet, like vanilla taste. So that's all the three products in Peony. I think it looks awful on me. So um, I think people with maybe very warm complexion, maybe with darker hair, would look really good in that lipstick, but not for me. I don't know, you let me know. Does this look pink to you? Okay, let's do the next one. Now the next one is Daphne, which will be a bit darker than the Peony. And this is described as mauve Pink, 20.5p, which is pink, but it's described as mauve Pink on her website. So the lip liner is a bit darker. Here is Daphne, I'll swatch it on my hand. So uh, this is Daphne and the matching lip liner. This doesn't look to me mauve or pink. This, it's like really, really, really peachy lipstick. Now, tell me if you can see any mauve in it or pink. I'm not saying they are horrible colors. <laughs> Please don't, don't think that I am trying to be negative about the product, the quality. It's just the colors, the way they are described. I think they don't match to what they actually are. So I can see a hint of mauve in here. Or pink it is a pretty color but not for me right let's try the third one which is Kaya is spelled with C A double L A Kaya if it is in Spanish otherwise is color I suppose and this is nude beige so it is described as rosy brown and I think this is quite adequate description of this particular shade. So that's the lip liner, definitely rosy brown. And here is Kaya lipstick, definitely rosy brown. So let's apply those. I definitely like the lip liner. So this is much cooler look. It says it's neutral, but it is cooler than the other two. And I, in general, general look better with cooler lipsticks on. It is cooler, but to me, this is still on the warm side. But I think I would be more inclined 
to wear this one than any of the others and let's try to do it with this lip gloss it just lightens a bit this color and obviously gives it amazing glossiness so here is peony daphne peony gloss and kaya when you compare now peony to these two I suppose you can see it being a bit more pink but I didn't feel that on my lips it looked very pink it's just basically I would say pink with warm pink with almost like yellow undertones right so when it comes to formula of all these products lip liners lipsticks gloss wonderful love it they are very moisturizing they are quite long lasting as well feel very comfortable I would say they have like a satin finish it's not too creamy too glossy and it's not matte love all that about the lipsticks the only thing is that I don't agree with the description it might be me to you the description might be accurate but that's not how I see it to me pink is nothing like this like peony and daphne there is to me there is no pink in it at all so my advice to you would be before you choose a color is to watch as many people as you can because i'm sure there will be lots of reviews of this uh, lipsticks by now and find someone that has very similar skin tone to yours hair color eyes i don't know maybe wears similar makeup to you and see what they look like on these people so yes i am a bit disappointed just by the colors because when i saw the give me rose collection i could imagine beautiful real pinks and mauves probably a bit on a cooler side and um, that's not what they are so my favorite probably is the kaya the, the rosy rosy brown the one that I'm wearing right now but still it wouldn't be my favorite let me maybe put on for you the Amarosa because I really like that one I might put a bit of concealer around my lips because these lip liners are quite have quite good staying power I don't have the matching uh, lip liner uh, for Amarosa but I like this lipstick because depending what lip liner you use with it it gives you a bit different tone I like using the Morphe Crush because it's cool <laughs> And here is Amarosa. So I don't see any warmth in it because it is described as medium warm mauve with neutral pink undertones. I see it more as a cool mauve. And I really, really love this color. So this is my favorite oh let's try this lip gloss this lip gloss is lovely because it will go on the top of anything really okay my lovelies again love the formula don't like the colors but that's very personal it's just that I don't feel these colors suit me at all but you might love them I hope you found this quick review helpful. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.